Hi everybody. Um, first of all, thank you very much to everybody who left me nice messages on my YouTube video and what they're doing to me. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I'm just a little person who lives in Thatcham. I've got a little room, my third bedroom, you know, the baby room. That's where I am. And I sit in here for hours, researching, looking, people tell me stuff and I make videos. I just show you some history of Thatcham. I cannot be harmful to the people doing this. But anyway, I wanted to look it up because Thatcham ends up being in the Guinness Book of Records because on that date there, the Second Augustian Legion, Re-Legion, 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 marched from the South Country across the Kennet Valley to Thatcham. So basically what they're saying is that Thatcham is one of the oldest towns in England. It makes the Guinness Book of Records for that because it's the first one of the first places supposedly the Romans settled. But you wouldn't know that because if they'd made buildings and things here, there aren't any. There's a few old houses. Anyway, see here, this is another place that we are sort of makes Thatcham famous because this little chapel is so old. And do you see this little chapel? Um, I'm going to show you some pictures of it in a little bit, how much it's changed, but or around it has changed. But I think this is how most churches started. They were little chapels, the people must be buried underground. And if you have a look here, although this one isn't raised like the church, there's a door which goes down. So it's obviously where bodies have been buried, not now, but hundreds of years ago. Um, obviously wasn't that big then, was it? And Thatcham couldn't have been that big, but this is the little chapel, I reckon. This is how churches started and everybody was buried underneath and then they, they carried on building and building. But anyway, we're going to take a little look, I think, at this little church because it's quite famous because it all well, obviously links into the religion and Romans and everything. The road is so close to it. And on the left here, the road used to go up there. They've cut that off, so you have to go round it and up there. So a little bit more has been left alone because obviously it's quite old and we don't know what's under there. And here we go. So look at that. Look how it used to look. And look what's in the background. One of them. And it had buildings. Look at that. The road came out here because look, it's got a little fence around it. It's got hedges. Wow, I never saw it like that. And it was an old blue coat school, but it wasn't very big. It's not a very big place. There it is. The fence isn't there now, so that's an old picture. Another old picture with some building or something next to it. Do you see that there? An old picture of Chapel Street. More stuff there about the Romans, my favourite. Well, of course, it had to be the Romans. And the Romans are still here, I think. A little bit more information. It looks like they did to America, really, isn't it? Go across England, they start here and then they work their way across. And that's if that's true as well. There's a little bit of information. Okay, anyway, now we're going to the church. Now, this church is very old. I mean, here you can see that this bit is different. These bits have all been built on. My dad had his ceremony there, you know, when he was buried last April. He's not buried in that church. He's buried a little bit further on, but this is the church that we had his funeral in. Yes, there you go. That must be, yeah, it must be, oh, I don't know, the different sides of it. And look, there used to be a pond. There's houses there now. A little bit of history. It is quite an old one. Wow, what may I think was, we're going to look in a minute when we see it. 
10 cent oh let's go back that says that that church has been there for more than 10 centuries wow it's, an, it's a little bit damp in there i have to say on here look oh let's just move it on a bit because i suddenly thought look at that no roman or all you'd have to put is take that off and put an o in and it would say roman so roman actually isn't far off norman let's just put that o there north roman i don't know maybe that's what that really means north romans not normans they've just changed their name to the normans but anyway this is a very very old church as i said Dad was, we had the ceremony for my dad there. And what it is, is I can't really show it because there aren't any pictures of it, but I know that when you're standing on the road, the church is up there. This land is higher. See, this is higher than here. It's not down here, is it? It's up there. So this church is built up and probably because again, the people are buried underneath. That seems what happens. They make their little chapels and then they bury the people underneath and then later on they've made them into churches added all these extra bits on anyway we're going on now because that's another very old building in thatcham oh yes and i like that look well thatcham comes from Thayakham, and it's been turned into thatcham because now it's a saxon village yes And also, I looked that up. What do, what did the Romans call England? Britannia. So now you know where that name comes from. The, after the Roman conquest, Britannia became the prefer to the Roman province. So the Roman province of Britannia. I didn't know that either. But, you know, England seems to be in control of everything, so it's probably not quite like they've told us, is it? But that's the little chapel and the church. And as I say, there you go. It makes the Guinness Book of Records because it's the oldest town in England. Like, you would never know. It says that 25,000 people live here and 42 live in Newbury. Newbury adjoins Thatcham, so the next town. It's obviously bigger. And then in Thatcham is this house. Mickey liked this house. From the road, you can see that turret. But do you see there? Oh, let's just stop it. These are horrible flats. There's quite a few in there. And then there's a house there. So you see that although it looks very open, it's crammed between things now. Anyway, this is another old building and that's what it looked like. Look at that. There's no road or anything here. When you look at this one, there's a, I think that goes into another housing estate. Wow. How many runs on it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 runs. Look at that. Maybe that's another one up there. That's quite an old picture, isn't it? Street in Thatcham, and that is quite old. And there's another nice old building. A little bit of information. So it brings up what it looks like today. But through there, you can stop and read it if you want when you know look the bubonic bubonic plague or the black plague you forget that 30 i mean if that is true because we never know anymore but if that's true and it killed that many people imagine there would have been very many people left but that would have been the 1300s because we know some things have happened 
and but they haven't told you how we get out of it and what a disaster economically it was and all that and they were far more advanced back then so so that's where that oh let's have a look well i think it is and of course the a4 which runs down here and i used to live in hungerford on it um was obviously stagecoaches coming from london or reading or wherever so these, there are some old houses left, but there's a lot more modern ones. And I'll have a bit more history in the 1700s. Imagine all the engineering for that. And how long that would have really taken, unless you had the equipment. We've got to mention the canal, haven't we? Because the canal goes past Hungerford. Um, yeah, so these are some of the... Let's, there's a few locks there. There's one a little bit further up by the reed beds. There's one because obviously you can walk all around here and then there must be another one. So that one says reed beds and um, an incredible feat. This is Newbury where the canal boats are. A pretty there, but once you get off the high street, that's a housing estate now, just like Thatcham like Newbury really quite nice there anyway and I must mention the trains I couldn't find it this time this is one of the first railways the Thatcham one it's run by Great Western Railways it says 1838 isn't that a little bit younger oh, probably younger than that as well the trains were there longer because they were far more advanced. But anyway, that's Great Western, which has a museum in Swindon. I think something about Didcot there, a railway centre. But trains don't look that bad for the 1800s, do they? Anyway, just adding this bit in. In World War, this is where all the prisoners look like that were part of it left. Now, there are obviously bits, but I wouldn't have said you'd have put prisoners in there without any windows. It's them seeing how much land, how many houses that the um, little slaves have got for them. And then this one's talking about, that's just showing the prehistoric settlement and the Roman occupation. But you wouldn't know the Romans had been here, but they're still here. Just called something else. I kind of knew there must have been something at Hennick Lane. What it is is that now, where that is, so it would have been this Roman settlement, is now um, a football pitch, which we're going to see with with one that's uh, like I've got astroturf on it. One up there, see. I can't show you very well, but do you see that it is up and on something? And I always wondered if that, and that's obviously Astro on top there. You've got these pictures and there's other things there. But uh, there aren't any pictures of people looking. I'd have to go and take one myself. And sorry, I've gone past it now. But do you see how different that is? It's got that just... So... This is obviously the, the Roman settlement. And what did they do? They obviously didn't care about this one. They built an AstroTurf football pitch on it. But this is along the A4 again, which obviously the Romans went to Bath, remember? Anyway, there's a little bit of history about Thatcham. Thanks for watching.